Hello everyone, welcome back to Bandit's Tarot by Serific Pathways. This video is going to be another celebrity topic reading that we will be doing. This one is going to be by viewer request and it's going to be an update on Abel Tesfaye, um, aka The Weeknd. We're going to be taking a look at him today. Now, before I go any further, I would like to put a disclaimer out there. Anything that you hear in this video should not be taken as facts. They are for entertainment purposes only. I encourage all of my audience that watches this video to do their own diligence and research on the topics that I speak on to form their own opinion and conclusion. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this reading on Abel Tesfaye. I invite you to grab some coffee Grab some tea, okay? Grab you a drink, sit back, and let's see what is in store. Now we will be breaking down this portion into his life in general, what what you know what is going on at the current moment, and then also what is going on in the love life as well. But before we do that, I would like to share his astrological chart. Now this is coming from astrocharts.com, so this is out there for anyone to view. His sun is in Aquarius, his moon is in Scorpio, his Mercury is in Aquarius, Venus is in Capricorn, Mars in Capricorn, Jupiter in Cancer, Saturn in Capricorn, Uranus in Capricorn, Neptune in Capricorn, um, Pluto in Scorpio, his North Node is in Aquarius, and his Chiron is in Cancer. And he was born February 16th, 1990 in Ontario, Canada. So if that gives you an idea of, you know, a good interpretation of his natal chart. So let's go ahead and hop into his reading. I'm not going to take every card that falls out. Okay. One thing that I'm seeing for Abel Tesfaye, like there's some unfinished business that has been going on. There's some karmic cycles that he needs to wrap up at the current moment. And he can be extremely aware of this. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing that at the current moment, Ten of Wands. Queen of Pentacles, Page of Swords. There could be a lot that's going on within his home life, in his personal life. Something about family is popping up here. Him wanting to start a family, or there's something to do with family here. And also I'm seeing that there's a figure that he could be dealing with, like an older elder, or someone that, you know, he views as authority that is coming in for him. Abel at the current moment is primarily focused on his happiness. Sorry about that, I live close to a highway. <laughs> He's currently focused on his happiness and his well-being entirely. But with the Ten of Wands that's popping out, 
I'm viewing him like right now, there's a lot that he's carrying. And there's a lot that he's had to walk away from or move away from. It could be relating to his relationships with people in business. It could be relating to people that he knows in real life, but there's something about, there's too many people that's surrounding him right now. He's cut out of his life. With the five of wands. Yeah, he's making peace of any situations that do not make sense to him. I don't know if this is coming across as him like, you know, Firing people in his, on his team, like his business managers, people in charge of things. Like he could be reevaluating all of that, revising all of that. Or, like I said, this could be actual people in real life, but there's something here that is coming through with him needing to balance out some type of debt. It could be karmic debt, or it could be like, you know, actual debt debt. So I want to look at who could he currently be dealing with in his personal life. That's what I want to look at. Who could the weekends able be dealing with in his personal life right now? Again, I'm seeing up to seven people in his circle, or he could be dealing with seven people. He's popping up here as the star card because he is an Aquarius, the King of Swords. Yeah, guys, like he is really making up his mind about a lot of things. He realizes that there's too much. There's either too many people that's in his circle, the wrong people that he's been associating with or the wrong people on his crew, but... Either way, he's popping up here very strong with the King of Swords and the Star card. This is Aquarius. He's an Aquarius. And then the King of Swords represents the element of air. But he could be very... Okay, who is this? Underneath all of this, though, to answer my own question that I asked, he could be dealing with a younger female or someone that he views as on his level. There's someone here like a female figure that's popping up. He could view them as a foundation or a sense of comfort, like he holds them of high value. As far as signs is concerned, I'm seeing Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, and Sagittarius here with the Temperance card. This is the Temperance card. So he could be dealing with a Sag, or he could be trying to work out something with a female figure. This is not... I don't know who this is, to be honest with you. If you have an idea of who this female figure is, shout it off in the comments below. I don't keep up with The weekend. I don't keep up with any of these celebrities, so you guys message me about these. It's completely unbiased. <laughs> so if you if you think you know who this uh, temperance card is about, shout it off in the comments below. 
But yeah, I'm seeing that he could be dealing with a female figure here. They could be coming to him or they he could be coming to them. He's popping up here as this Knight of Cups, okay? That was underneath this King of Swords. This is someone that he has previously dealt with, I feel like, with the Six of Cups. It seems like that he's trying to heal something, like... He's trying to work on something, work issues out with the person. He's trying to work issues out with the person. That's what I'm seeing. Whoever he's dealing with here. Now, I know I just said that he has too many people around in his circle, but amongst these people, there is one I'm seeing that he is actually viewing on his side. Like I said, there is a sense of support. And they could, he could just be very, inter like, extremely interested in them, want to pursue them, or work something out with them that possibly did not occur in the past. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look at the question that everyone has been asking and inquiring about. What is the current situation or update on him and Selena Gomez? Alright guys, I pre-shuffled these cards off camera, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull them. Um, you know, I do think that I'm seeing that he, I think, and I see, okay, I'm seeing in his cards that he does still care about Selena, but it's... It's very similar to what I said in my previous videos. He's at a crossroads with the situation. I keep on reading the situation as like an on and off again, like a love hate. Um, it's almost like that he's blinded to. The situation blinded, <laughs> blinded by the lights, ha ha ha, sorry, like it's almost like that he's blindsided by the situation, he doesn't know what to think, blindfolded, he views it from two different perspectives, in a way he thinks that him and Selena can be happy, but on the other hand, it's just too much mental torment. I'm seeing that his, the way that he has felt about her has matured ever since the two of them have interacted, their relationship, the entirety of their relationship. His, his emotions for her have matured. Because he was popping up as this Knight of Cups, and he went from the Knight to the King of Cups. He went from the Knight of Cups to the King of Cups. He's following his intuition pertaining to this. There's also something here like, there was at one point he thought it was a lost cause, but the more that he thought about it, he started to view the potential that he had with her. And he's went back and forth in his mind about this, and it's caused him a lot of uh, just overthinking, you know, running the situation to the ground because it's just too much to comprehend. Again, very conflicting, like he has the Three of Cups and the Eight of Swords. What is making him happy is also causing him a lot of stress. And he's very, he's lustful for her. The lust is high. He's needing to follow his intuition. There's a decision that needs to be made by him that
it's almost like, do I risk my peace of mind for this situation? Because it's going to be something that it's just not easy for him, guys. The thought of Selena is just not easy. It's hard to explain, even in, in even in his cards. Like he has the Eight of Swords here, which talks about self imprisonment, and then the Two of Swords. Very conflicting energy going back and forth in your mind about this. And the two cards that are surrounding this are the Three of Cups and the High Priestess card. Like there's something here. His intuition is. Telling him something different than what his mind is, or his heart is, as I should say, his heart. His intuition and his art and his art heart, if I can get that out, are not agreeing on something. What is that? Yeah, his intuition and his heart are not agreeing on something. And I'm going to be honest with you, like, it could be that he's very apprehensive about reaching out to Selena, even if he does have feelings for her, even if he wants to reconcile or do, you know, even remain friends with her, like, he likes the idea, but it's not, he hasn't entertained it. The Two of Cups is popping out here, and then the Emperor card is also popping out in reverse. Someone here, either him or her, is not emotionally ready for the other person. That's what this could be talking about. Someone here could be too controlling. Someone here could be having control issues, and that could be the reason why he is so hesitant about, you know, rehashing the past. I know people have asked me about this so many times before. They're so interested in Selena and the whole weekend situation, the, you know, their situation that they had. But in each time that I've read, it just comes across as someone here wants to be with the person, but they know they're not good for them. They definitely have karmic ties with each other. I will say that. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop into the love portion. And then we're going to wrap this video up. Okay, so the first card that he had flip out was the full card. Oh yeah, by the way, these cards ex contain extremely sexual explicit images so if you don't like that then I would skip over this part of the reading you need to be 18 or older to watch my videos anyways or whatever age of consent is in your country but he has a full card that popped out I'm seeing that he could be actively pursuing somebody right now or he's just very flirtatious with multiple different people he could be dealing with a Scorpio or someone that has Scorpio in their chart um, I'm also seeing that he could be communicating with somebody like talking to somebody again it's him coming across like it's coming across as him pursuing a person or pursuing the idea of being with them. There's a lot of flirtatious energy. Yeah. New opportunity, small opportunity here. He could be going out to parties and that's how he could be meeting whoever this is that he's trying to pursue or flirt with. I'm seeing that it's going to be, <laughs> he's going to be successful at doing so too.
I'm also seeing Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn pop up in his reading. Okay, so I want to clarify a few of these cards. He has a death card here. That's why I'm saying that he could be dealing with a Scorpio. So I want to see what this death card is talking about in his love sector. The Ten of Cups. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, it's quite possible that whoever he's been seeing or pursuing, like, he's going through fast, fast relationships, fast encounters with people. Someone here has got burnt out, okay? Has been burnt out. Possibly dissatisfied. Or they've just grown bored of a situation. 